Go. We are going, Steve. We are going live. Greetings. Greetings, everyone. Hello, hello. Good afternoon. This is uh, Todd Pittner. Hold on. I'm, I want to say got it. Oh, 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 oh. Let me, let me pause that. <laughs> oh, let me just put that on mute. There we go. Hey, everyone. Um, sorry for the uh, disjointed opening to this, but uh, greetings. Welcome to Decentralized Directory. This is Todd Pittner. I am co-host with Mike Adams on Decentralized.tv and the host of this channel, this YouTube channel, Decentralized Directory, to where we believe that to be able to escape the centralized systems, you have to have an escape plan. And that's what my mission in life is right now, is to just bring to you different solutions on how to be able to get out from underneath the thumb of the man or the wool man. I don't know, just the controllers out there. And if you don't believe that uh, there's an issue with energy inflation, let me just share with you this is my last month's utility bill, not my my electric bill, $672.93. Now, it's hot as hell here in Tampa, but it has never been $672 hot in my eight years of living here. The most it got to was like maybe low 500s last year, but it crept into the sixes, 650s, and now 672. And... I cried, uncle. I'm like, I told my wife, I'm like, Yana, there's going to be a day where I don't know if this doesn't stop. Are we even going to be able to afford to be living in this house? Or are we going to have to so heavily downsize just because of freaking energy bill? And for those of you who follow my show, you know, it would be crushing, crushing for me to leave this house because I just installed the coolest food forest in the world. Go down below and, and, and click like, subscribe, share this channel with, with others. Um, and a couple, of, a couple of videos ago, you'll see one that has solar panels on top of it. Just It's a four-minute video. And uh, Steve was awesome in that, uh, uh, well, I'm going to properly inter introduce him, but he put together, help put together that video. And uh, it was just amazing. We just wanted to do a little mini documentary of my installation of what we're here to talk about today, which is seven reasons to go solar. Mr. Solar Steve, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you, Todd. Um, uh, again, it's a true honor to be on your show. Um, it's been a pleasure working with you and, you know, figuring out what we could do and I love what your channel is all about, about becoming decentralized. It's something I've also been very passionate about, um, food, energy, and water. Those are yeah. our, you know, three most basic needs, yet the further they are from us, right, the less control we're going to have, right? That's right. And especially if we can only get it from one source, right? So, um, you know, we're bringing the food closer to you, right? You're bringing the energy yep. closer to you, and you're bringing the water closer to you. That's not only going to save you money. It's going to save you time. It's going to be more efficient. And of course, it's going to be a lot cheaper um, and more sustainable over the long term. So I'm excited to get in, uh, get into this conversation of energy with you. Uh, the bills have been going crazy for everybody. Oh, uh, man. Well, of, I got uh, I got this. Let me let me share this with you. Yes, please. This please. I sent this to you. This is a letter that came to all basically all residents in the greater Tampa area from Tampa Electric Company, TECO, and it says an important message on bills from the president and CEO of Tampa Electric. <laughs> this is Archie Collins, president and CEO of Tampa Electric. I am reaching out to discuss an important subject, higher than normal bills, resulting from the combination of A, elevated 2022 fuel costs that are affecting 2023 rates, that sounds like a good excuse. And B, one of the hottest summers on record. You know, it hasn't been that hot, Archie. 
It really hasn't. We understand the importance of affordable and reliable energy, and we're working hard to provide possible solutions with ease, to ease the financial strain. So for them to make that decision to, to send this to all residents tells me that he, Sir Archie, is getting a ton of shit from all people in the greater Tampa area. It's been crazy. I mean, you're talking about energy inflation of 20% over last year, 20%. So I told my wife, I'm like, well, okay, let's back the bus up. So this has been happening three bills in a row. Three bills ago, I was out at uh, uh, Galt's Landing with uh, Jim, who we'd interviewed. You know, he's CEO of foodforestabundance.com. And I was telling him, I'm like, man, my electric bill is killing me now. He's 100% off grid out there. And good folks, you're looking at the guy who made it happen. Uh, Steve is the one who assessed and installed all of the solar at Galt's Landing. And that's where Jim told me, he said, oh, my gosh, you got to go solar, Todd. So it's a no brainer. Let me introduce you to my guy, Steve. And so I reached out to Steve and Steve is the nicest guy you'll ever meet, 100%. And I will tell you, you want to write this down, what I'm going to tell you now. Mr. Solar Steve.com slash forward slash Todd, T O D D. If you go there, there is basically a, 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 a page to be able to put in your information. And Mr. Solar Steve.com forward slash T O D D, Todd, will give you a free assessment. Now, that assessment is based on pre negotiated rates. That's my value add to all of the people watching this, to all of the people visiting decentraliseddirectory.com. Any featured partners that are that that are out there trying to help us with decentralization, uh, I will tell you that there is a special rate with them. Steve, I beat you up pretty hard. Uh, had had a couple of other quotes, uh, and you, you know what? You were great. It was just. Not even, <laughs> you made everything so easy. But I want people to know that after I contacted you, you very, uh, what you asked me to do is take a picture of my monthly statement and you did the rest, didn't you, Steve? Yeah. Tell, tell us the process. Yeah, so when it comes to solar, people have a lot of questions, right? And all every solar project is gonna be different. So um, we're gonna customize it to each individual home. And the easiest way to do that is just a one picture of your electric bill. On that bill, there's going to be a graph. It shows me how much energy you use for the year. And then we'll work together to design a solution that meets 100%, you know, 110%, 50%, whatever your goals are, uh, we're going to do that. Um, and right now I'm partnered with um, uh, Brett Bushy, who is the uh, basically the CEO at Freedom Forever. Uh, it's a multi-billion dollar company, uh, completely debt-free. They're in 37 states. And by leveraging that partnership, we're able to get wholesale discounts nationwide. So um, you, if you want to get one quote or three other quotes from other companies, it really doesn't matter. Um, if you go to um, you know, mrsolarsteve.com slash Todd, uh, we'll make sure that you get the best prices in the nation um, because there's no reason for you to be overpaying for power, um, you know, especially not overpaying for solar either. So uh, we're <laughs> going to get you a price that makes sense. And hopefully today we'll get into answering and provide clarity to all your listeners here on you know, a lot of the questions that you had, I'm sure a lot of, uh, you know, similar questions your listeners are going to have as well. So I want to be able to, you know, to bring that confidence level uh, and that uncertainty down of, you know, what's preventing people from going solar because someone's going solar every 60 seconds in the United States. So it's starting to be a no brainer, but I'm sure there's some, there's some missing gaps, some missing links, and maybe even some uh, useful resources like us uh, to be able to get them to make that switch, which is going to obviously make a lot of sense. For yeah, that. sorry, I was distracted. I was uh, looking and it was, it seemed like we were not live streaming that it was uh, on private. So if anybody is there in the chat, just say hello. If anybody's watching, um, would love to be able to see you. Um, well, this is called Seven Reasons to Go Solar with Solar Steve. And uh, 
do you want you have a presentation that you created that's based upon the analysis or the uh, uh, what do you call it the assessment that you did for me right solar seed yeah. yeah so we're just going to break down the energy savings plans we prep for you that way people get an idea of what they're going to receive for their home um, it's going to be very similar it's just going to be you know different panels and slightly different numbers but okay the value uh, they're going to be getting so I'll share my I'll start sharing my screen right now um, great if you do ask and questions in the live stream that'd be great I'll be happy to answer any questions as we go as well let me just go in there and say hi to everyone just to get the party started please press like subscribe and share this video with others okay great definitely subscribe so again this is the process um when the first step right you're going to go to the website um and you're just going to put your name uh your email your phone number i'll shoot you a text and you can either text me or email me the bill and within 24 hours or so we'll have a design ready for you and we can meet via zoom uh, but that's the most important part that's step one is uh, to collect your bill on that bill is going to show me all the different rates that you're paying um and then obviously the graph that shows me how much energy you consume so that'll be mm -hmm. step one right yeah once i have the bill we're ready to do an energy savings plan and we'll do that live uh, with the homeowner on a zoom and that way they can see number one how much sun do they get on their home you know do they have a lot of trees right um there's different factors involved yep. maybe, maybe they're not a good suit for for solar because they're surrounded by giant oak trees i'm not sure but i we'll see that out um but generally we'll, we'll look at for example this house it gets lots of sun on the back of the home and we'll see how many panels can we fit on there and, you know, can we produce 50%, 80%, 110% based on their consumption? So mm -hmm. uh, it'll be, you know, well, and the goal is to figure out what's your monthly cost with energy, right? Are you paying $300, $500, $400, dollars right? And we want to we want to pay for this entire project with the money that you're already giving your utility company, right? Right. This right. is not something that people have to, you know, look into their savings account or the IRA accounts to try to pull out to invest in this thing. You are already investing in solar. Your utility companies are going solar. You're paying for solar right now uh, in many ways, either through your taxes or through your utility company. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to go solar regardless. Uh, it just depends whether you want to receive the benefit of that as well. And I just want to I just want to stop here and share with everyone I mean, I fundamentally believe everyone, $672, my bill this month, which yesterday they flipped the switch and I'm now solar. So the lights, everything powered by solar, Steve. Thank you, Steve. Yeah. Um, but but it's interesting. So um, I know we're going to go through the math, but I want to let everybody know, for me, I really didn't even care about the total cost of the system because I know that's going towards my my home equity i mean my house is going to be as value as whatever i invest if i can demonstrate that there are clear savings that are locked in for a quarter century so for me i look at my 672 dollar bill versus 500 last year and all of the money printing that they've done uh the 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 i believe the um controlled shortages that are going to happen um this my house is going to ultimately within three to four years if i did nothing i'm going to be paying a thousand dollars a month for a freaking electric bill okay now we like to keep it chilly you know um especially at night to be able to sleep and such and we have a big home it's 5300 square feet so uh you know too big for just we're empty nesters now, but I'm not downsizing because I love me some food forest in my back property. So, um, so we, you know, we're attacking this alternative, an alternative way. So when you think about, well, can I afford to go solar? What you have to think about is what are you paying for now? And where is that, you know, uh, energy inflation going to go in the future? I mean, forget three years from now, think five years, 10 years, 20 years. Is there going to be a day to where because of inflation and hyperinflation that it's going to be $2,500 a month to be able to uh, uh, cool your home or heat your home? I think so. 
So for me, I knew, and I know we're going to go through the numbers, but I know that uh, I think my first 18 months, my payment on the system is like $330 or something. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll confirm that. And then I get an energy credit of 30% of the investment in the system. And so that's going to equate to about $35,000. Now I can take that 35 grand and I can apply it all towards this quote unquote loan, right? That I'm, that, that, that I'm, my payments are 330 bucks and uh, lock in that 330 for the life of the loan, which is at 3.99% is 25 years. So there's going to be a day where my neighbors are going to be paying $2,500 a month and I'm going to be locked in at 330 bucks. Now, if I don't use that energy credit and I decide I want to keep that because things happen, uh, kids, college tuitions do, whatever. Well, I can take that and use it to my pleasure or invest it. And then my bill goes up to, I believe it's like $440 or something like that. So basically and, you could pocket 20 grand and it's only going to cost you an extra hundred bucks on the solar. And even that number is pretty yeah. much what you're paying right now. So um, yeah, well, well, no, I mean, what I'm paying right now is 672. Yeah, yeah. Now I know, I know that's not every month or whatever, but people, good people. I'm locking it in. This is how you battle centralization. We're locking in a payment because energy bills are not going to go down, sports fans. They're just going to go one direction and that's up. Okay, yeah. sorry. I just wanted to make that really clear because for, and it's no money down. There was no money down. And I was like, well, uh, you know, are they, are they going to check my I have good credit, but are they going to check my credit? But people are going to ask, I mean, can we, you know, will we even get credit to be able to put the system in? And the answer is they're kind of smart. They realize you're paying, in my case, 672. And if they can offer you 330, they're pretty sure you're going to pay your, your bill, <laughs> you, you know, right? We're so confident that there's not even a lien on your property. So right. That's um, correct. You know, if whatever, if you can't afford the solar payment, then, um, you know, you, you definitely can't afford the utility company. So it's not even a concern. If anything happens, just like your car will take back your car, right? If you don't pay your car payments, we'll take it back. Same thing with the solar. If you don't pay your solar payment, we'll take it back. But I have never heard of that situation. No. Ever. Um, and, you know, once people realize, once you people go solar, they never want to go back. They're just super grateful. I, my family had solar since 20, uh, 2017 and rates uh, for Duke. Uh, this year went up like 20% last year, another 20%. So uh, we're just, we're just, we're sleeping good at night and we're not worried yeah. about energy inflation. And I just want other people to, you know, kind of get that same joy and knowing that security and having money in their retirement, right? Uh, a lot of people, when they retire, they're on a fixed income and then, you know, inflation is, That's right. is going to squeeze them out. Um, and also, you know, with the, so solar right now, it's so good that they're actually taking away the, some of the really good benefits. Like right now we have this thing called net metering, which I'll go into detail, but it allows you to sell your excess energy to the grid during the That's day, right. producing a lot. And uh, California this year just took away that net metering, right? They used to do dollar for dollar for every dollar of energy you give the grid, they give you a dollar back. Now for every dollar of energy you give the grid, you only get 25 cents back, right? Wow. And on uh, Florida, it's California for you. Yeah. So they and, and they're big in solar. So they, they're way ahead of everybody in solar. So they have so much solar installed that now the utility is like, OK, we're going to we're going to drop the incentives. Right. Uh, everyone yeah. who had solar. Great. They get to keep those. Um, but anyone moving forward. So Florida actually signed a uh, I think it was a bill, some kind of um, legislation that they were going to actually drop the net metering credits. But luckily it got vetoed. But there's no, there's, you know, they could. Beautiful. Apply for it again next year. So, so look, I, I encourage people to watch the four minute doc, mini documentary that I did. And you'll see in there, I pointed to all the houses in my neighborhood. And I'm like, I have a dream <laughs> that one day that all of these are going to be solar. And neighbors, you know, I'm going to be dropping this link into the our Facebook page. And I really encourage you to reach out to Steve because with the food force that I installed, with the solar panels that I put on, I I live what I preach, which is decentralization and trying to figure out how to 
optimize my purchasing power. And just by going along and getting along, now is not the time to uh, be in analysis paralysis. Oh, we're just going to wait. We're going to see where the technology goes. Because what you said, some of the uh, 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 fancy pants and lollipops that they're giving away, they're trying to take back, right? So the it could be the energy credit. Uh, or the tax credits could be taken back. So again, go to uh, mrsolarsteve.com forward slash Todd. And uh, you've got the guy right here who will, uh, what do you have to lose? Seriously, I ask anybody, what do you have to lose? Yeah. If you're watching and you're outside the United States, uh, sorry, unless you're in Puerto Rico, if you're in the United States, they're rapidly working on being able to do installations in all of the states, but right now they're in 57. I'm, I'm sorry, 37, 37 states. So, um, okay, let's go through the presentation. Um, sorry for, for, for derailing it. No, no worries. So, and I'll go through this quickly. And if there's anything you want me to highlight, just let me know. But I want everyone to get the full experience Perfect. they would receive when, when we meet. And hello up. to Just a Man, who is in the chat. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks, yeah. Justa. So um, we'll give them an energy savings plan. The goal is to work within their budget. Even if it's the same amount, it still makes sense, right? But yeah. you know, if we can get it lower than what they're paying now, that's just icing on the cake. Now, once they say, yes, this makes sense, I want to go solar. I'm not the guy who says, yes, you can do it or no, right? I just yeah. help get it uh, across the table until we can schedule the site survey. So if if they wanted to go solar today, then by this weekend, we could have somebody on the roof and just doing an inspection. Got to make sure the electrical is up to code. There's no rust on your electrical panel and making sure the roof is in good condition because we warranty all of our work. Uh, we have a you know 25 year uh, basically money back guarantee on the solar panels, warranty on the inverter and everything. And we'll talk a little bit about the different components, but we want to yeah. make sure that we we're liable for a lot of the things. So we want to make sure we're putting it on a, on a sturdy home um, yep. that we're comfortable with. Once Perfect. the site survey is complete within three business days, they're going to give me the final report and I'll shoot the homeowner a text message with the final design. Nine out of 10 times, there's no changes from what I talked to them about during the energy savings plan. So right. We, Todd, the numbers I showed you, that's pretty much what you got. There was really no yep. Um, yep. And then we submitted for permits and approvals. And generally, depending on your county, that could take about 30 days, 45 days. There's some places that are in and out permits. You can go in one day and then get it out that same day. It just depends on, on the county of where you live. As soon as we have the permits approved, we are ready to go and we install it generally in one day. Um, if you have a bigger project, above a 20 kilowatt system, it might be a two day project, but most of the time they'll come in at around seven to 8 a.m. and they'll be done around 4 p.m. for most mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. okay, so it's a one day project. Once it's installed, uh, we'll send the uh, the inspection out to make sure the plans match the permits. And then the utility will come and turn it on, which we just did for Todd um, just the other day this week. Yep. So um, solar is becoming the new standard. Um, it, depending on where you live here in Florida, Lennar, um, this is one of the big developers uh, for homes out here they're pretty much offering solar right off the bat when you buy a house. In California, if you're building a new home, you have to get solar. It's just part of the legislation. So wow. solar is, you know, it's, it's already mainstream, right? Um, it's like having a microwave or, or having a TV in your home. It's just, yeah. you know, it's like you don't have a microwave, you don't have a TV. It'll be weird. It is going to be weird if you don't have solar. And right. It's going to be a lot harder to sell your home if you, you know, if you're a gas guzzling hummer of a, of a house, right? Yep. So um, basically, that was in 2022. Someone went solar every 60 seconds, 3.8 million installed uh, just in, in that year. And even through, um, what's it called? I wouldn't say the depression, but even through this you know, hard economic hardship that our people are facing, solar has been growing like crazy. So it hasn't been affected um, you know, by the it's economy. Because it's a no-brainer decision when you do the yeah. cost analysis. Because it's a basic need. Um, and the reason I'm doing what I do and ways that I'm passionate about it is because one out of every three families in the U.S. face challenges in meeting their energy needs. So one out of every three families you speak to are also, you know, opening their eyes wide when they open that summer bill. And in Florida, you know that, um, you know, AC is a big part of that and hot water and some different things. If you want to become energy efficient, we could talk about that as well. Steve, but Steve you like my hair? I do. I do. <laughs> I, got, I got a haircut. And the reason why I'm bringing it up is. I was talking to my uh, hair stylist mm -hmm. um, and she was sharing with me. Now she rents, 
but she's responsible for her electric. Mm -hmm. But the poor girl, she's facing what I face, just an inordinate amount, uh, high, you know, electric bill. And so she's had to go the other way to where she's like, Todd, I, I don't have any lights on. I unplug my appliances except my refrigerator. She's like, I, I sweat all night when I'm sleeping, you know? And so that's what we're facing, everyone. So if you are a homeowner, you know, be grateful, first of all, that there is this option. Okay, sorry, Steve, continue. And if you're in like colder states, I, I saw uh, recently a study of like in England where retired old, like older people and energy went, energy prices went up like 3X in, in, in Europe. Um, yeah. And, you know, people were, you know, older people were passing away from, from the cold. Um, right. Yeah. Or, or whatever, just because they don't want to turn on the heat and, and, and deal with those crazy bills. So, um, like I said, we, we want to, you know, if we can just put you on a different direction now, you're going to be uh, way better off a, as you continue into the future. So this is your bill right here, uh, Tampa Electric here in 2023. And then this is basically what somebody would see. Most people never look at their bill. Uh, they just have to pay it, right? So whether it goes yeah. up to 20%, some people have it on auto pay. They don't even look at it. It is what it is. But if you have a solution, then we're going to go ahead and dive deep into this. It looks like you guys are paying $21 as a daily basic service charge. So most utility companies have a connection fee. It has nothing yeah. to do with how much energy you use. So a lot of people think when they go solar, they're never gonna have an electric bill again. Um, that's not necessarily the case because they're gonna have a small customer charge. So I just wanna be upfront about that and make sure people know, hey, look, that'll be 20 bucks or 30 bucks, but it's still um, gonna be a good benefit. Then right. we have energy charges and the fuel charges. Now, um, those are two separate charges. So for the fuel, is essentially what you pay uh, to produce the energy at the power plant, which mainly it's natural gas, like 80% of our power comes from natural gas. Okay. So for the actual fuel itself, you're paying, you know, 50 bucks here, 151 bucks here. Um, so let's say 200 bucks for the fuel. Mm -hmm. And then to bring that energy to your house, right? You're paying like 270. Mm. So the real, the, you know, more than 50% of the cost of energy is not just the fuel, but it's actually the cost that it takes to bring that energy to you. And, right. And Florida, we're bringing in droves of people from New York, from California, yeah. all the place Florida has been growing like crazy. And every time they build a new community, which I saw in your area, they're building a lot uh, yep. of new developments everywhere I go. And so, for example, Florida Power and Light, which is the biggest utility here in Florida, they spent like $40 million the other year just on trimming trees around the power lines. That's wow. not actual maintenance on the line. So these this infrastructure, and it's old, right? So they're constantly yeah. upgraded and, and deal with all the new challenges. So uh, we pay for all those upgrades and all that, okay? So that's, you're paying for the fuel, then you're paying for the delivery system, and then you have storm protection charges. Essentially, um, they just charge you at, in anticipation for the hurricanes and different things. Then you also have the clean energy transition mechanism. Essentially, Tico is actually making very big strides into going solar. They have a net zero emission of by 2050 to be completely, um, you know, carbon carbon free. And so, in order to do that, they're going to, you know, siphon, you know, fifteen dollars or whatever um, from everybody in order to invest in upgrading the grid. Yeah. As you can see, all these charges are dependent on how much energy you use. So if you're not using any energy, you're not, we're basically able to eliminate all these different charges, right? Yep. Here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And also most people, when it comes to capitalism, right? Um, the more you buy of something or you buy things in bulk, you generally get a discount, right? Sam's Club, Costco, right? Yeah. Um, when you buy in bulk, you get a discount. Now with the utilities, it's an opposite, right? The more you purchase, the more you pay. So for the first thousand kilowatts, they're going to charge you uh, six cents. And then anything above that, they're going to charge you, you know, pretty much eight cents, seven to eight cents. So that's a 10% increase right there. So yeah. if you go above a thousand, you're going to pay 10% more. And the same thing with the fuel, you'll pay another 10% more. So even if you can only produce 50% um, and, and stay below that tier two pricing, that's where most of the savings are going to come from as well. Um, what else we have? We also have storm surcharge. That's just another storm surcharge. And then taxes. The cool thing about solar, it's tax free. Here you're paying $14 in Florida receipts tax. You got a franchise fee and you got a municipal tax. So you're paying like 70, 80, like $90 in taxes. Mm. Right. Um, when, right. And in, and with solar, it's tax free. So there's no sales tax, there's no use tax, and there's no additional property tax. 
Sales tax, meaning if the system's 30,000, right? It's not like a car where you pay, you sign for 30,000, but then it's 32,000 when you sign the paperwork. No, the price I show you is the price you get. There's no sales tax. In Florida, there's no additional property tax, meaning it's one of the only investments I'm currently aware of that can drastically increase your property value without increasing your property taxes in the back end. Because if you build a, Good fence, point. Great you build point. a fence or you do a brand new kitchen and you get your home appraised, then best believe that that increased value is going to um, get taxed onto your uh, property tax. So mm -hmm. this is a great, um, even if you have raw land, right? You can put a million dollars worth of solar on it. And in Florida, it'll look like raw land on your on your property tax. Mm -hmm. um, and then, so your total bill, it ended up being $655, okay? That was now, two months ago. Yeah, that was two months ago. And it's even more now. So when it comes to energy, I like to break it down per kilowatt, the same way like a, a gasoline car. I want to know how much am I paying per gallon? Am I paying $2 a gallon, $3 a gallon, $4 a gallon? And we can do the same thing with your energy. Basically, we want to know how much you pay per kilowatt. So you mm -hmm. paid $655. You had a $21 uh, customer charge. Mm -hmm. I could, that bill, that $21 is still going to be there. So I'm going to remove that from the equation. So you paid $634 to receive 3,567 kilowatt hours. So if you divide that, basically you're paying 0.1777 cents per kilowatt or about 17 cents per kilowatt hour. Now that's, okay. now that's important because once I know how much you use annually, I can multiply it by the um, cost per kilowatt. And now I know your annual budget, what your monthly budget is. And I want to work within that to make this project make sense. For, for okay. Mm -hmm. And you can go to Tico and they, and they break down uh, what all these different charges are as well. Okay. Right. This was just a zoomed in graph of your consumption. As you can see on the low end, we're like, at, you know, 15, 1600. And then on the high end, we're like 3,600. Right. Okay. So every month you're hitting the tier two uh, pricing. Yep. And then again, this is just a summary. Uh, visually, this is the big picture. All right. All right, everyone. What's the name of this? Seven Reason to Go Solar. Yes. MrSolarSteve.com forward slash T-O-D-D, Todd. Yes. Um, here are the seven reasons. Here are the seven reasons. Now, um, when you moved in, right, your only option was Tico, right? Sometimes they make yep. you pay a deposit, but there was zero upfront cost, I'm assuming. Let's just pretend that you just signed up for Tico and it was just zero upfront. There's yep. rent increases every year. There's no equity, right? So whether you live there 5, 10, 25 years, there's no value increase. There's no end date. So even if you pass on this home to your children, they're yeah. still going to have an electric bill and into infinity. Yep. Tax incentive, it's less efficient, and there's environmental concerns. Whether you believe in climate change or not, most people don't want to be next to a power plant because they know it increases asthma and, and other health um, complications. Yes. Okay. Now, with solar, these are the main reasons why people go solar. Um, one, uh, there's no upfront cost, right? There's correct no, no rate increases, meaning it'll never go up. You never have to worry about the price ever go up. Just like your mortgage, the mortgage yep. is fixed and you're paying, you're increasing equity every time you make a solar payment. You can pay it off anytime. If you, you know, come across some extra money, you just want to pay it off. Just like yeah. your house, go ahead and pay it off. And that's it. You can um, no longer have a bill after that. Uh, there's no lien on your home. It's going to be way more efficient um, and environmentally friendly. It's more efficient because, you know, we're not having to travel you know, 50, 100 miles of cable, it will only need 20 feet of cable. So, yeah, you know, it's kind of cool to know that God hand delivers, you know, the power right to your solar panels. Exactly. You know, we have the world's most, the world's largest nuclear power plant in the sky. And so we have <laughs> no fuel charge. Somebody put it up there for a reason. They wanted us to take advantage of it. And there's no delivery fee, right? Yeah. It's, it's like our cell phones and everything else, it's wireless. So you're not paying for the energy. You're not paying for the delivery. You have a fixed cost for the equipment and you finance that in a way where you could pay it off quickly and, you know, save, you know, tens of thousands, if not a hundred over a hundred thousand dollars. Let's not overlook the 30% federal oh. tax credit. Let's talk about that and yes. educate people. What does that mean and how do people receive it? Yes. And I have another page uh, specific to it, but essentially, oh, okay. um, if you owe, if you owe money in taxes, right. And let's say you owe $10,000, let's say you make whatever, 60,000 and you owe $10,000 in taxes and you get a $10,000 tax credit, you now owe the government zero. So whatever they deducted from your W-2, you're now gonna receive basically $10,000 more than what you Yeah, owe. right, right. Yeah. So and the government is paying for 30% of the entire uh, equipment cost, including the financing fees or whatever. It's just yeah. carrying all of it, the 30% of the entire project that it costs you. On top of that, it's tax now, how do, how do people receive that? 
there's a they have to tell their accountant there's a specific form that has to be filled out, right? Yeah, there's a form um, on this on this file. I have a link to that form. It's on the IRS website. It's like two pages, but you only need the top page. You put the total project amount. My brother did it for my mom through TurboTax. He didn't even use a, a CPA or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. Put the total amount automatically the thirty percent comes out of your your liability. So it's okay, a forward process. One of my clients is actually a tax professional, so. I can refer people to, you know, people that are already went solar and, and kind of know how. how they okay, work. great. Straightforward. Um, so 30, so a big incentive, they're paying for 30%. So, so, so the, the idea here is you get that tax credit and if you want to keep your energy bill, you know, down lower, um, you could just take that 10 grand, you know, in your example, and you could just send it to the, um, the finance folks and just pay down my uh, loan or you can keep it. Yeah. Right. But yeah. when you, but after the 18 months, then the price goes up to the amount that you'll discuss with the folks and people can make the decision. Is it worth it to keep it or should I pay it down? Um, I don't know. Frankly, I believe going from 330 to 440 or whatever the number we're going to we're going to see I I don't have it exact in my head. Um but I think with inflation being what it is, I think 440 is going to be a bargain. So I might want to take that $30,000 tax credit in my case. I think it'll be that or 35 or whatever and uh I may want want to further invest in my food forest. I may want, you know what I mean? It's it's like, how can I take that green crappy money and put it to the best use? Because what we know for sure is fiat cash is melting through inflation every year, borrowing power by 15%, really conservative to depending upon what you're buying. 50%. We have experienced, and you guys know this, food inflation of 50% cumulative over the last several years. And uh, I mean, I went and, and, and I wanted to buy some steaks this weekend and make a nice, good ribeye. I used to get like four inch and a quarter ribeyes to be able to, you know, grill and enjoy. It did take maybe, you know, 30 bucks for those four. Now it's, 30 bucks for a little half inch one. It's ridiculous. I couldn't, I couldn't do it, Steve. Yeah. I and couldn't I'm, do it. I'm seeing memes all over the internet with people like grabbing a little, a little bite of like uh, some ground beef for like 20 bucks at the grocery yeah. store. I mean, at this point, it's almost like a joke. Um, but at the end of the day, it's just because, you know, those resources are far from us, right? If you had a direct connection with a local, you know, farmer who was, you know, butchering the cows, you know, locally, you know, pot- potentially that can make it, you know, a little bit cheaper, but whatever we can do to, to have more control of our basic needs, the better yeah. off we're, we're going to be because okay. uh, they're not doing any favor for us in the grocery stores anytime soon. <laughs> all right, let's continue. So again, we just basically just breaking down all the different months, right? And you can see, you know, from low as 310 to as high as uh, 630, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, most of these months right here is where you, you see those high months. But overall, your total consumption over the last 12 months was 30187 You multiply that by the 17 cents and you get an annual cost of $5,000, right? Divide yeah. that by 12. And this is where your average bill is, 447 And then we're going to go ahead and add back in that fixed customer charge. So, again, this is what we're working with right here. 468. How can we, with zero out of pocket, fund this entire project for the same, if not less than the 468 you're already spending and already getting nothing in return for? How can we maximize that money that you're basically donating to Tico? Okay. Mm -hmm. So the the way we pay for all of this is we take that, uh, what was it? 268, right? That's your utility. We bring that down to like 30 bucks. We get a comfortable payment and we put an extra hundred or so bucks back into your pocket and we get you out of that, you know, that tier two pricing, which is where you're going to get most of those. uh, Right. Because anything above that thousand dollar line is going to be 10 to 20 percent more. Generally in California, they got three tiers. Right. So after five, it's it's even crazier. So it's got two. So it just depends where you live. We'll look at that. Um, This is just a recap of what I talked about before. Renting versus owning. 
you, if you own your home, you own your car, then you're probably going to want to own your power. And we talked about why your bill is so high, the customer charge, fuel charge, energy charge, distribution charge, and taxes. And these are the main reasons, the seven seven reasons why people go solar, zero out of pocket, lower your bill, increase your property value, uh, and uh, receive the solar tax credit, and enjoy a ROI, and also protect the environment. So inflation, you already hinted at it. Um, this is from the IMF. You can see that basically since after 2020, they were printing money ridiculously. And generally speaking, rates for energy were used to going up four to 7% a year. But um, since then, everything's been hitting double digits. So we went yeah. from 7% to everything hitting double digits. Um, and for example, in 2022, Florida went up 18%, Cali 16, and New Hampshire 40%. We're hmm. paying 17 cents here in Florida. In New Hampshire, they're paying 30 cents, which is ridiculous. Gee. So it's not just a Florida thing. This is a nationwide thing. And this is where I get my numbers from. This is from the U.S. Department of Energy. Um, they calculated the residential averages for the entire United States. And mm -hmm. from 2001 to 2014, rates went up 67%, which is where we get that 4 to 7% number every year. Now, if you're paying 468, and let's say it only goes up 5%, how long do you think it would be before that bill doubles at just a 5%? 10 years. All right. So let's look at that. We'll take the uh, 468 times that by 1.05, and that'll be one year renting, two, three, four, five. So by year five, you're at uh, six, I mean, 597. And then another five years, one, two, three, four, five renting, you're at 762. So pretty much, you, you're right. Pretty much at the 10 year mark, it'll be about double. We'll pull another five years just for fun. One, two, three, four, five, and we'll end it there, 972, 972. Let me make this just a little bit. And that's at 5%. That's ridiculous. Let's do that exercise one more time at 15%, please. At 15%. All right. Because that it was 18% last year, right? It's yeah, going. Be, yeah, they went up. I know. Uh, they're not going to give us a break, people. Yeah. So let's do 468. And I know within the next at least five years, 15, 10%, like that's more realistic. I'm being very conservative. And yeah, I don't want to be conservative. I, I, want to, I want to shock people uh, to what their reality is going to be. I mean, you can't be printing a trillion dollars a month, which they are now, and not suffer this serious inflation. Yeah, I no, mean- It's inevitable, it's inevitable. The system is going to fail and you can basically screw yourself out of home ownership because you're not- being forward thinking with your energy costs. So let's do this. So if it's 15%, we're going to do one year, two, three, four, five. So yeah, I mean, at 15%, uh, you're- Keep in, going. If you're already- Go going, 10 years. Uh, 941, let me write that down. And then one, two, three, four, five, that'll be 18. Wow, 93. And then one, two, three, four, five. Um, 3808. This is what is going to happen. You guys may think this is just woo woo. It's not. It's not. Wake up. Yeah. I'm it's serious. Wake up. With, with the carbon taxes and all those things. Like when they didn't want us to smoke cigarettes back in the day, once they realized it was bad, they put a warning label right on the cigarettes, right? But it wasn't until they taxed the hell out of cigarettes and made a box of cigarettes $10 that people. Yeah that people want to stop smoking, stop right? consuming, but right. It's the same thing. They're going to squeeze the price so high that you're going to have to upgrade all your appliances. You're going to have to. And so imagine, imagine 15 years from now, you know, my wife and I decide we want to downsize and the, you know, folks who come in, you know, a house that would sell today for like $1.2 million, maybe it sells for uh, $3 million at that point. And the energy cost is, 3808 a month, right? Well, having my solar locked in at 450 bucks, let's call it, you know, for the life, the 20, for the the 20 after 25 years, it's not it, it, it there's no cost, right? Or if I want to pay it off, I could do that, you know, and then there's no cost. But talk about value add. I mean, that is where your it, you know, this is going right to your home equity. So it is not an expense. An electric bill is an expense. A solar bill is an investment. Big difference. Big do difference. you want to invest in your future or do you want to just 
piss it away as an expense. So, you know, I don't know. Again, this is why it was a no brainer to me. And anybody I care about, I'm telling them about this saying, you know, uh, please get an assessment at least from you, Steve. And and I, I met with your neighbor, Ravi. He was great. And yeah, he was great. He saw, the, he saw the numbers and he should be getting installed, uh, you know, across the street from you in a few weeks. And um, he even got, uh, he even did one where we have a promotion where it's 12 months, no payment. So, you know, interest rate is a little higher, but he decided he's going to have 12 months, no bill. And yeah. And be saving money after that so we'll show you what those yeah and he are. and didn't he didn't he uh wasn't he concerned because he got a quote from uh tesla on tesla panels or something but then you went back and showed him how yeah. you explain that to me yeah so Steve. the way it works is with um with solar or even if you buy a house a lot of times they give you the option to buy down your interest rate meaning uh, yeah. the, higher the interest rate right um the lower the total cost or if you if you lower your interest rate Right, they'll increase the total cost of the house, but the monthly would be more or be a little bit more favorable, right? Right. So, um, you know, Tesla gave them a quote, really great price uh, with a high interest rate. Um, so it's basically kind of like their cash price. I showed him our cash price, and we were well below that. So it doesn't like if you go to mississolosleeve.com slash Todd, we pretty much guarantee you're going to get the best wholesale pricing in the nation, whether it's Tesla or or any other company. You can get multiple quotes. I really don't care. Yep. Uh, we're going to give you the best deal possible. And, and, we're and, and I will, t- I, I would not be having you on the show if you didn't make it painless for me. You came so highly recommended from Jim Gale, CEO of foodforestabundance.com. Yeah. So yeah. I met you organically. So this is, I'm, I'm, I'm not benefiting from this. Mm-hmm. This is my, my attempt to be able to evangelize decentralization. So this is what I do. I want to be able to help people. And I don't tell people to do things that I haven't done. And so, you know, I'm trying to be the tip of the spear and hopefully a beacon of light for some. Um, And I want to spread, you know, goodwill out there. And you and your team have just been amazing all the way through the process, thank Steve. You, thank you. And I do want to uh, clarify, I don't do the actual installations. I just do the engineering and the layouts and help put everything together. But the actual guy who actually installed physically uh, the project over at Jim Gale, his name is Sammy, um, super great friend of mine. Um, mm. And he specializes in off-grid, right? And okay. so I specialize on on-grid, but if I need an off-grid project, I got Sammy, I got my guy, Naya, um, and a bunch of other engineers, whether it's a small project, big project, commercial project, you got a hotel, you got a school, a university, it really doesn't matter. You want a charging station, uh, we can pretty much do it all. So don't Great. be shy, you know, you know, reach out and, and get your questions answered so we can help you um, kind of get this going. So Perfect. again, you know, at that 15%, expect your bill to be double, you know, within the next by 2032 or whatever that is. Right? I believe that. I think in five years, it'll be double. Yeah. I, I don't even have a question about that. So it's not we, if it's when. It's when. It's just a matter of time. Even at a five percent, basically, you're looking at over 25 years. You would be uh, basically donating 268 thousand dollars to Tico over a 25 year period at only a five percent modest uh, rate increase. So you know. Yeah. So you, think so about that. Now we're talking three quarters of a million, folks. If you actually use real inflation numbers. Yeah. You could have bought a house or more. Right. Yeah. That amount of money. So, again, this is not costing them anything. We're taking their liability, which is a bill. We're pushing that to the equity side of the equation. We're putting money back in their pocket every month. Imagine if I came to your house and I handed you one hundred dollars every month, Todd. I'm sure we're really great friends, but I'm sure we need to be <laughs> friends. Right. So that's what it feels like to go solely. It's like every month I'm, I'm handing you. I would say you're trying to bribe me to get back <laughs> in my food forest to pick some fruit. I definitely, I definitely want some fruits. I saw what you got back there. And man, <laughs> I, I, I'm jealous. I'm, I'm going to add more trees at, at, at my place. I'm so excited for you. Man. Nice. Such a blessing. So um, these are just some local rate increases. You can see in New Hampshire, they went up 66% since 2001. And then Tico, right? They, you got a letter recently explaining or basically letting you know, hey, we apologize for the crazy rate hikes that's going on. because That was basically a late letter saying, stop bitching at us. We get it. We're working on it. We got your back while they're picking your pocket. Yeah, they're, they're working on it, but there's so much that they can do. The real issue is that, like I said, 80% of our power comes from natural gas, 
And since basically 2020, the price of natural gas went up 300%. Now they're not going to increase your bill 300% overnight, but they're, um, you know, they're behind on their bills, so to speak. And so they have to, you know, incrementalize it up, you know, every quarter or so. Yeah. All right? um, and also, you know, they give you the excuses on here, you know, weather, temperature, um, price of natural gas, and, and they let you know. So it's not a secret. Right their website and they'll tell you exactly what's going on um there to mitigate this fuel cost it says right here solar energy solar energy for tico reduced fuel costs by 80 million dollars last year so it's not just you know the residential homeowners that are doing it it's the big time players right you know, the warren buffets you know what i mean these are the people um playing at a larger game and and basically getting all the tax credits for the solar and then having yeah. you pay for it and then they get all the profit, right? <laughs> That's essentially uh, what's going on there. So uh, for Tico, and this is from Food and Water Watch, um, since 2019, Tico went up 62%. Yep. While at the same time, their parent company doubled in profits, right? So, um, you know, they're not losing money. That's for sure. No. Uh, and then in mm -hmm. April, they went up 10%. That was the most recent one in 2023. And then we'll continue here. Um, basically, they're going solar. Again, 82%, sorry, is um, natural gas. Mm -hmm. okay? And so we're heavily relying on that. Um, Tico has some goals. They want to be net zero um, by 2050. And, you know, Duke, they're a big one too. They went up even more. They went up uh, 20% uh, in April. And they have the same reasons, right? They say... Um, uh, they're behind 795 million in fuel costs, and they need another 400 million in storm related from Hurricanes Ian and, and Nicole. So anytime a storm hits or something happens, we all pay for it. This is all stuff that we pay for. I'm going to skip all these rate increases. FPL went up 20%. Texas, um, they had blackouts. They went up 70%, but then they dropped it down a little bit because 70% is too much for one year. Uh, New York, 20%. And we'll skip all that. But how does solar work? I'm pretty sure some, some of your listeners might have a question on how solar works. Yeah, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Um, the sun hits the panels and it produces DC or direct current. The, then you have an inverter that converts that DC into AC power, which is what you use all your outlets. So it's the same power that's already you know going through your outlets currently. That goes directly into the home, and then all the during the day you're going to produce a lot more energy than what you need, right? So all that excess power is going to get sent to the grid, and then they're going to be able to credit you. Um, for the nighttime uses. And the goal is to get you to net zero, where it's essentially you produce enough energy during the day that it covers even your nighttime uses as well. Okay. Any questions there? Nope. How it works? All right, great. We'll continue. What makes a good solar panel? We use tier one panels, right? Uh, these are monocrystalline panels. So these, these aren't the blue panels with the white lines that you generally see. These are black on black panels. The aesthetic looks really good. Um, mm -hmm. They're, you know, the efficiency is like 21%. It's on the high end of the spectrum. We're using basically the, the number two um, highest efficient, you know, quality panel currently in the United States, REC panels, American-made panels. And after 25 years um, of being outside in the elements, it'll still produce 90% or more of its original output. So mm -hmm. imagine, like, imagine having your car after 25 years with no maintenance, no oil change, and it's still running at 90 plus percent of the day you bought it. So what, um, what happens if I have an issue with one of my panels, Steve? Yeah, you just give us a call. Uh, if anything, we, we for your system, we actually monitoring it 24 seven over the 25 years. And we have a money back guarantee for 25 years. So if something goes wrong, most likely we'll know before you. But if you notice something on your app, you let us know and we'll send a technician out there to make sure everything is good. But you don't have to touch anything. 25 years complete coverage for, for your home. That's amazing. That's amazing. We're treating you like a utility company because it works the same way. The utility companies will basically hire a, a solar installer to put solar on a field, and then they agree to just purchase you know, that energy. And right. They need it all that way. So we're doing the same thing, but for the residential, uh, just at a smaller scale. Okay. Um, and then if you want to, you know, these are the top uh, 10 solar panels uh, for 2022. We got SunPower, LG, REC, Panasonic, and different panels will be good for different places. Um, REC, I like it because it has a very high temperature coefficient, meaning it could withstand the Florida temperatures really well. Right. Um, and they have a really high efficiency as well. Mm -hmm. so they're, they're, they're top two as far as temperature coefficient, and they're top three as far as uh, efficiency is concerned. Great. All right. 
Um, they have different inverters. Essentially, that's just what converts the DC to the AC power. And there's different ways to do it. But either way, we're, we're covering for the entire time. And then another concern people have is, what about my roof, right? That's the common, that's a question I get pretty much every day. Yeah. What about my roof? What if something happens, right? And so this is uh, this is an iron ridge racking system. So uh, we, we use different systems, but the concept is still the same. Um, this goes directly into the main truss of your home, right? So this is not moving anywhere. It can withstand over a thousand pounds of uplift force. You, mm -hmm. Even if you got up there yourself and try to yank them up, you, you would not be able to do it unless uh, you're a Hulk or something like that. You've been <laughs> very hard. But uh, we meet everything by Miami-Dade standards, right? Uh, they're the strictest, right? Because they're the first ones to get hit if a hurricane comes through. Yeah, um, everything's rated at above 180 mile an hour winds and a category five hurricane is basically anything above 180. So unless it's above a category five, then I'm not really worried about it. Um, and this will actually protect your roof. So the two main reasons for a roof claim are wind and hail. And this picture that you see here is actually um, this is at an Air Force base here in. Um, let me see. I got a pop up. So this is at an Air Force base here in Mexico Beach, Florida. And mm -hmm. where do you see the most damage on the roof? Where there are not solar panels. All right. And why do you think that is? Uh, because the solar panels protect the roof. <laughs> yep, that's exactly it, right? So all the homes in this community have solar. It's a, like I said, it's an Air Force base. Our military is very big on solar. But when the wind comes, right, it hits the panels and it bounces off rather than making your shingles go flying. Or right. even, even the hail, believe it or not, we do get hail in Florida. And that's another reason why you might qualify for a roof claim. So it'll hit the panels. Um, there's these panels are the same panels they have up in Canada or New York, right? So they get way more hail and way more snow up there. And so they're built to last not only the extreme cold, but also the extreme heat as well. And okay. so roof and, um, you know, make your roof last longer as well. So that's another kind of added benefit of going solar that a lot of people don't think about is actually protecting your roof um, mm -hmm. from those elements. Um, in Florida, it just depends for the power wall is really only meant for backup purposes here in Florida, right? Because we can sell our power to the grid. So we don't necessarily need to store all of our energy in a battery. We can use Tico as our free unlimited backup battery, meaning we could basically send all of our energy to the grid and they'll store it for us and then let us use it at night, right? But mm -hmm. if the grid goes down, right? Then if you want power during a blackout, then you're going to want to need a battery um, in order to basically power your home during a blackout. In your case, you already had a natural gas, uh, a gas generator. Yeah, um, I have a, I, I, we went, we went through a kind of no name hurricane. Uh, what was it? Five years ago or whatever, four or five years ago. And uh, we're out of power for four days and I swore never again. And so I got a whole house generator so when we lose power, that baby just kicks on. And uh, we did lose power the other day. It wasn't from, uh, you know, uh, any kind of storm. It was just something that happened with Kiko. Um, and uh, it worked like a charm. I mean, it just came on and, and powered the house. So with the grid going down for me, uh, I don't need battery backup because I have the, you know, the generator but other people may want to consider it right so they would they would install these power walls yeah and yeah they would install the power wall and then these power walls are pretty good like with just one power wall you can power your refrigerator for 24 hours you can have a bunch of appliances and have like a tv going your wi-fi going um mm -hmm. so you oil and you can pretty much enjoy the regular luxuries without the ac um but if you get right. two, then you can go ahead and live like you would <laughs> without uh, the grid at all. But just remind you that there's no, there's not really an ROI on the battery per se, because it's not saving you money on energy. It's yeah. just for backup purposes. So it's, yeah, uh, you know, Look, let me, let, let me share everyone. When the no name hurricane came through and the rain was traveling at our house, you know, at 90 degree angle, right? When your power goes out and your air conditioning goes down, it's not as simple of a decision when it's 100 degrees outside, right, at night, to just crack open your window. You can't 
because you have that sideways rain coming in. It'll, it'll just ruin your, your, your home. And so that was where it really hit me is, my gosh, it was really becoming unsafe just because it was so hot in our home. It was like a, a sauna for four days, you know? So uh, if I didn't have the backup generator, I would have absolutely probably done two power walls here. Yeah, and uh, for an extra power wall costs you an extra 60 bucks a month. You know, you're saving already, you know, if you're already saving 60 bucks, whatever, you can pay the same you're paying now and get a battery and have that backup. So it just depends on the person's situation. And you're locking it in. Remember when we went through the exercise of $3,800 for a monthly payment? That's what people have to understand. You have to start thinking about your financial future. You can't play ostrich and just think that that's all going to go away. Inflation is real. Food inflation, energy inflation, gas inflation. And unfortunately, I don't know about you, Steve, but... I don't think our paychecks are keeping up with inflation, Steve. No, 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 no. Well, I'm luckily I'm blessed because you know the worse things get, the more people call me. So I'm kind of on <laughs> that's uh, true the reverse end of it. But um, you know, uh, I'm also a trainer for the company, so I can't do this by myself. If there's people listening and they want to learn how to design and and sell solar or do it on their own, we can work that out and, and help yeah. teach the new generation of people um, that will be basically helping because like I said, there's millions of homeowners. I can't reach them all. Um, so yeah. feel free to reach out and we can help you even learn this as a career or as a side job or whatever. If you're into that kind of thing, um, you know, energy is going to be, we're always going to use energy and more. Of yeah. Energy. That's, that's a good point. So, um, so yeah, that's the power wall. We can do that for them if they want. Um, and we just coordinate it to what they need. Net metering. Like I said, this is the, this is what really, this net metering is what avoids you having to have the battery. Right now, the battery is like, oh, I could get it if I want to. It's it's kind of optional, yeah. right? Because of net metering. If we didn't have net metering, then you would have to buy the battery because you couldn't sell energy to the grid. Right, that's correct. So it, and and, and um, you would probably, you would need two batteries uh, automatically. So you would need to spend an extra 20K on your project um, if net metering wasn't, uh, wasn't around. Right. So um, take advantage of the net metering, lock it in. You'll be locked in for the next 20 years, even if they change the law. So- um, okay, but That's if you good. Can get the battery with the new Inflation Reduction Act that was passed, you can also get thirty percent off the battery as well for your tax credit. So perfect. If you are going to get the battery, great. You get the discount that that they currently have. But net metering is really the goal. Um, pretty much, nobody was going solar until basically twenty sixteen. Uh, in here in Florida, back you know when we really launched the the net metering programs, and essentially during the day, again, you're going to sell that power you know, 17 cents to the grid. And then during the nighttime, you get the 17 cents back. Um, and this is on the utility company's website. Uh, they tell you that they encourage it, actually. It says it right here on Tico's website. Um, if your home or business has a net meter, your monthly billing statement will include a total use column, right? Hey, hey and, have you been able to hear me? I just realized I coughed earlier and I took my on air off. So I hope I hope other people were able to hear me. I hear you clearly. Luckily. Okay. Well, I if 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 there was an issue, people who are, are listening to the live stream, I apologize. My bad. <laughs> and this is what your bill is going to look like here soon, Todd. Um, this is an after bill, right? They'll show you how much you delivered to the grid, how much they received, right? So um, basically, you consumed 661 kilowatts, but then you gave them 700 kilowatts. So then you have actually a credit of 110, right? And so okay. this is sample bill they have on here. And you can have a bunch of months where you're not consuming any power. And these credits will roll over month to month. And if at the end of the year, you still have a bunch of credits, then they'll actually cash you out at the current, um, you know, the current wholesale price of fuel that they purchased it at, which is about 4.8 cents. If so you they send you a check. Well, they'll just put that cash equivalent on your January bill. Okay. So in I your see. case, you're going to produce an extra 2000 uh, kilowatts. If you consume the same amount of energy you use yeah. last year. Um, we have it set up. We have a 2,000 kilowatt buffer. And so if you don't use those extra credits, you basically get a, an extra $98 um, pushed towards your January bill. If, okay. If that's how it goes. So that'll just keep getting accumulated if you if you stay under the 100%. Okay. Um, and then I got a bunch of before and after bills. I mean, uh, this is one here, a client paying 257 on the low end and paying $600 on the high end here. 
And that was in um, March of 2022. These are all people that gave me permission to use their um, electric bill. They're very okay. happy. And then uh, this is in February 2023. You can see that their bill pretty much flatlined, not consuming any energy from the utility company. Beautiful. Uh, all they're paying is that that customer charge plus the tax. Okay. And I've done it time and time again. Um, you know, OUC, Duke. Um, some people don't want it on the roof. Um, maybe their roof is bad. Maybe their roof doesn't qualify um, because whatever. Maybe they have a mobile home or whatever the case may be. If their roof yeah. is not an option, then we can also do um, either a ground mount. Right. Or we can do an elevated ground mount so you can have a shade canopy. Um, That's over nice. At, mm -hmm, over at Gulf's Landing, uh, they have a bunch of ground mounts and behind the ground mount, they have all their seedlings because it creates a nice shade and it allows them to, you know, propagate new plants. Right. They have, they have lined up plants all under the solar panel. So that's great. That, um, that dual benefit. So this is your house. Now we're going to. That get looks familiar. Yes. So we're finally, um, we covered all the education. Right. And we're finally going to get into the, the nitty gritty of your home. What's the numbers? What did the breakdown come to? What's the ROI? What's the increase of home value? Um, we're we're going to explain that in the next few pages. But first, we look at the first thing we look at someone's home. We have the east, we have the south and we have the west. So sun rises over here and then it sets over here. So this front part of the home, you're getting blasted with sun all day in the morning and the evening. And then the next two best sides will be this one and this one. Right. Mm -hmm. So this will be the premium. And then this will be the north side. Right. So you yeah. can see that it's darker there. So you'll you basically between this side and this side here, you'll get like 98 percent of the available sun. And here you'll get like 50 percent. So you'll need, right. you'll need twice as many panels on this side to get the same amount of production if you were to put the panel on this side. So mm -hmm. orientation is very important. And these are all factors. Right. Every house yeah. is going to Every house is going to be different. I can't give anybody a cookie cutter price. Um, we're just going to make sure they get the best uh, in the nation. Right. Yeah. There's two ways to go solar. I know a lot of, I know we talked about ownership. I know we talked about equity, but there's a lot of people who are retired, right? They don't pay taxes, right? Or, or, yeah. maybe, or maybe they don't, they're, you know, their credit's a little bit lower or, or they don't want to, they finance way too many things. They're overwhelmed with their debt to income ratio and they can't, they can't put another dime on top of that, on top of that ratio. Yeah. That is fine. So we have Sunrun, which is basically solar as a service right? You're not buying the solar panels. You're just agreeing to buy the energy at a cheaper price and save some money. So within, there's 2000 plus people within 25 miles of Utah that already have solar as a service where they didn't buy it. They just wanted cheaper energy to kind of avoid those rates. And if you did want it to go with that option, basically we could produce 103% of your power for $272. Hmm. Right. This is the non-ownership option. This is there's no there's there's no tax credit. There's no equity. This is just you. If right. You're renting, if you're renting from Tico, why not rent from solar and get a discount? I got you. OK. So right. I just want to let your viewers know that, hey, you, you don't have if you like I said, it's, it's an investment. It's not a cost to you. But if you feel like it's um, more than you want to do, then go ahead and use go solar as a service. Um, it's not available in all the states that we're in, but it's available in I want to say most of them. OK. Um, so yeah, you can save $161 and it goes up 2.9%. Or if you don't want it to go up, we can lock it in at 375 and put an extra 60 bucks in your pocket. But overall, you already know that this is going to save you over a hundred thousand dollars. Um, you can see that, you know, this one goes up 2.9% a year. You'll save more and more and more in a year. And then the second option is one where it's a little higher in the beginning, but it never goes up and your uh, savings continue to climb. So that's just a, like a, like the easiest way for people to go solar. Everyone mm -hmm. I talk to once they look at the numbers for an extra 20, 30 bucks, you can own the damn thing. So, <laughs> right. Um, so sometimes also people give me their bill, but they're like, Hey, I need to add an, I'm getting an electric car or I'm actually just getting a pool. Right. Yes. Uh, so during that conversation that I have with the homeowner, if they feel like they're going to get a sauna or something more, we can look up what those appliances are going to consume and we can go ahead and add that in and put an extra 10% or extra 15% of energy if that's the case. So, you know, for a Tesla, you'll consume an extra maybe 5,000 kilowatts annually. And if you're getting a pool, then the pump might, you might need an extra 4,000 just to give people an, an idea. Right. right. So this is your home. This is the actual layout um, that we have currently on your home. And this is going to produce 106% of your power. Essentially, this is 54 panels of the RECs, uh, 400 watts a piece, black on black, tier one panel. Your consumption was 30,000 and we're going to produce uh, 32,000. So that's that extra 2,000 uh, kilowatts. Yep that I was talking about earlier. And then 
as far as the tax credit is concerned, right? Basically, uh, I would ask them, hey, are you, you know, are you 1099? Are you W-2? You know, do you get taxes withheld? So let's just do a quick example. Let's just say you make 100K a year, okay? And um, let's say you're a W-2 employee, uh, meaning you withhold your taxes. And let's say you owe, let's say 20K at the, at the end of the year, mm -hmm. right? And let's say for this example that um, you withheld um, 21K. So in this example, this homeowner is going to get a rebate of one thousand mm -hmm. dollars they withheld 21 but then after deductions you know child tax credits and all these things they're able to get actually a return now if they went solar this year mind you they have to get it installed for 2023 in order to qualify for 2024 so right anybody who meets with me in october we can actually get their project done before the end of the year so take advantage of the spooky season and we can get yeah. spooky savings uh, mm -hmm. coming so um, if you went solar and you got a $20,000 tax credit, this is a dollar for dollar reduction in what you owe the government. So it's not decreasing your income. It's actually dollar for dollar um, on your liability. So if you owe 20 k guess what? You now owe zero. But the, the IRS has withheld your 21 k So instead yep. of getting the difference between 21 and 20, you're going to get the difference between 21 and zero. So you're going to get 21 k back in your taxes. Yep. Right? Now, if you don't owe any taxes, let's say you're a veteran or you're retired, then you might want to go with the lease because you know you're not going to qualify for the tax credit because you don't pay taxes, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, every situation is going to be now. Legit. Now, if let's say your tax credit for the system was thirty thousand, then and and you got twenty one thousand, that roll that goes into next year too, right? It rolls over. Correct. Correct. So you get you have five years minimum to claim the whole tax credit. Okay, so that's if important. Only if you if you only qualify for five k, you'll get five k four years in a row until you get the full twenty k. Okay, perfect. Yep. And then the tax form, you can just go to the IRS website. Um, and then like, this is what you just go, I click this link and then you just put- uh, Okay, back that up. So this is the 5695. Oh yeah, the uh, tax form. form. Yeah, yeah, that's important. Yep, that's the form. Um, and then you put under line one, you see qualified solar electric property costs. You would put the total project cost there on line one. And then on line 6B, where it says multiple, uh, the 30%, I can't write on this, um, but line 6B, automatically, if you're doing it through TurboTax, the 30% will pop up there and that'll be deducted directly from your tax liability. It's only okay. two pages, but you really only need to fill out the first page. Okay, okay. cool. And so that's, I have a I have hot links. So if people, you know, they can just click the, the PDF that I send them. If they want to know how much they owe in taxes, they can look up line 37 and 38 on their IRS 1040 form. Um, and then we'll get, let's get into the numbers. Sure. All right. Uh, again, just to recap on the utility side, let me move this where it's out of the way. Uh, 30,000, 5,000 annually, and your uh, average bill is 468. And we want to avoid paying 268,000 to Tico. So what we're going to do is produce 106%. So we're going to produce more than what you're getting. Um, and these are the three most popular um, finance options that people have been picking. I've been doing a while and generally people kind of go with one of these three options. Uh, we do have more, but these are the, the fan favorites, uh, so to okay. speak. So uh, the lowest interest rate we have currently is 3.99. Um, it used to be like 2.59 and it just keeps creeping up 0.25% every few months. Um, you know, I think it's 4.25 now, isn't it? Or is it 3.99 still? Um, last one I did was Earlier this weekend, it was it was still three point. Okay, good. So but I did I did get a letter from the bank saying that it's going to be going up soon. So um, yeah, so everybody, MrSolarSteve.com forward slash Todd to be able to get your assessment. Do it like right away, right away, so that you can lock in these great rates if you do the assessment and you're like me and you say this was a no brainer. Yeah. And if they want to get pre-approved, it's uh you know it doesn't affect their credit. It's a soft pull, and they'll lock. They can I can lock in at least that interest rate for you know thirty to forty five days. Um, Perfect but time, but they can just get the numbers, get it pre-approved, locked it in, and then let me know when they're ready to move forward. But most people okay. they go right now. So this is the lowest interest rate three nine nine. So the lower the interest rate, the highest the total. So we'll start with the highest total cost, and then we can work our way down a little bit. But I know you went with the lowest interest rate, so that would be eighty five thousand total value. The tax credit is twenty five thousand, so your net cost is sixty thousand dollars. Okay, 
over the next 10 years at a 5% increase, you're going to spend $70,000 regardless. So you're going to get 25 years of power for only 60,000. And in the next 10 years, you're going to spend 70,000 to rent your power. So, and everybody that 70,000 is based on 5%, which is a fantasy. It's yes. a fantasy. Yeah. So I would, I would love if it only went up 5%. Um, but you know, you know, uh, I got to be conservative for, um, for, no, I disagree with you there. I think that you should be should it up. factual yeah. and, and, and say, here are three options. You, you do your own work and you tell me what you think it's going to be, but I'm giving you 5%, 10%, and 15%. Yeah. And if you take a look at the last four, five years with all of the m- money printing, 15% is the right number. Yeah. You know, so, but even if you go 10%. So I, I'm I'm just saying that this is 5% is ridiculous. Yeah. And if like if we if you go off that number, 15%, you basically go from 468 to 542 by next year. So yeah. uh, average. So you just basically jump, you know, you're skipping a few runs. But essentially your payment for this for the first 18 months is 329. We use a solar- now, now it's 329, but I'm on auto pay and that helped a little bit. So it took it down even further, right? Or is um, this, no, this the auto is, pay amount? Yeah, this is the auto pay amount. Nobody, because the other way is like writing a check and then mailing it to, yeah. to California. So I'm showing them already the 3.99. Okay, okay. If, if not, it'll be an extra five bucks or six bucks. It's not a big deal. Um, okay. I'll, I'll send it, but 329. No, it was more than that. It was meaningful. Oh, it, it was, was like- it was like 20 bucks more 20 bucks okay yeah everyone does the auto pay you can pick whatever day you want most people do auto pay on everything so there's no reason to pay an extra 0.25 percent yeah that's going to be the best bet now what's different about the solar bank than every other bank is if you were to finance this eighty five thousand dollars with a regular bank like the bank of america or credit union yeah. or whatever, they're automatically going to start at the 470 now, because you're working with a solar bank, we know that you're going to get the, the IRS tax credit money. So we go ahead and give you a break. And for the first 18 months, we're only going to charge you 329. And that gives you more than enough time to claim that tax credit, you know, a year. Right. And, um, and so if you apply the tax credit, great. If you know, it's 329. Now, if you want to put more than the tax credit, it can be less than 329, right? So yeah. we amortize depending on whether you put money in or not. Now, if you kept all of it, right? Then it would, the highest it could ever be is 470, which is pretty much what you're paying today. And you're getting more power than what you're getting today anyway. So I'm locking it in for 25 years, people. So it's, 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 this is how you battle inflation. I mean, I don't believe I'm going to do anything with the tax credit, except invest it in precious metals, definitely private crypto. I mean, this interest rate is three nine nine. Even if you had a car payment, right? Let's say you had a car and you owed twenty five thousand dollars on that car, and you had it at a you know a five percent interest, you probably got a four hundred dollar car payment. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, good point. I mean, use it to pay something else off. That's pay off the, the car, and then this only goes up what a hundred and forty bucks. And the three point nine nine percent. What I what, what I just encourage people to think. Don't overthink that. Look at how much money you're saving over the life of this thing. It, it, it to me, three point nine nine percent. It's meaningless. These numbers are meaningless. The yeah. fact that I'm locking in such an amazing rate and I'm paying more now, and I know the future. My name is Todd Radamus. I know it's going to be ten percent, fifteen percent. I know that three thousand dollars over the twenty five years. There's going to be a time where to be able to, 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 to turn the power on in my home, I'm going to have to pay 3000 bucks at some point during the, the next 25 years, mm-hmm. at least. Mm-hmm. So, and we have yeah. other programs, like I said, um, if, if we have cash buyers or something like that, you know, we can bring up the interest rate and get you the cash price. If somebody wants 12 months, if they need a break from their electric bill for a little while, we can bump up the interest rate 1% more but then we can give them 12 months, no payment. So it just depends. We have a lot of different options. Yeah. Um, these three are the most popular. And, um, you know, we're, we're never going to lose on price. I'm not worried about price. I just want the homeowner to get what they want. And Good. Be happy. And, and I'm looking for volume. I want to help as many people as possible um, throughout, you know, the U.S. And, Good. Uh, you know, 
if they want to blank, uh, if I always bring a blank sheet just in case they want to edit it on the fly and things like that. <laughs> okay. um, but this is what that looks like. This, like I said, this is the this is the most conservative estimate I could make with you paying three twenty nine fixed, right? I even threw in the thirty five dollars. I know we're producing extra power. You might even actually get ninety bucks at the end of the year. But let's just say you're paying thirty five. Yeah. Right? Um, then you're saving about a hundred bucks a month modestly. And over time, including the utility company, you're going to save over $150,000. Yep. And have extra net, time. net, 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 net you from spend, my cost. Yeah. You spend $0 and over 25 years, you pocket 154000 And that 154000 is what everyone? Oh. A fantasy. No, yeah. it's going to be way more than that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is just 5%. You're, you're doing it at 5%, which is ridiculous. Yeah. So I'll let I'll let their imagination take them away. But yeah, these savings can easily be 200,000. And on top of the savings, don't forget the equity. So you're going to be adding actually $64,000 worth of value to your home today. It's already there. Yeah, that's right. You know, you can go ahead and get a third party appraiser and they'll they'll and that's where I get my studies from. And I'll have this. I have the study in the links of where I get this property value. But you're spending at the highest price. This is the biggest no brainer I've ever experienced. I mean, it really is. People, please tell me why you wouldn't do this. Yeah, please. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. And please, in the comments, please tell us why you're not ready to go solar, why you can't go solar, because we want to see what hurdles are preventing you from doing this or what, you know, mental blocks that we can help um, overcome. So, well, I mean, I had a neighbor who was very curious about the process and everything. And they just said that, look, we're, we're not going to be in the home for probably, you know, more than two years. So we don't want to go through the investment now. Um, I like that one. That's a good one. So let's say let's say they um, they win solar, and then by year five, they move. Would you rather Would you rather give the new homeowner a five hundred and sixty dollar bill or a three hundred and twenty nine dollar bill? People with solar on their homes sell it for about 20, 20 I think it's like twenty percent faster, or, and then at a four percent premium. You can look it up on Rocket Mortgage. Yeah, the four percent premium is correct. You can look it up on Forbes. You can look it up on Rocket Mortgage. You can look it up on Zillow. Everywhere you look, your home with solar is going to sell faster. More people are going to look at it. You're going to get, yes. it off the market, get it off your market quicker. And you're going to get And there's no money down. There's yeah. no money down. So, so the new owner, right, is going to assume you your payments. Off. Yep. They pick up where you left off. It's completely transferable, right? Yeah. Uh, and then imagine during those five years, Right, you're spending what was it, five thousand annually? So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Right. So now that's an extra. They basically you basically you already prepaid five years of their energy. Now they only got twenty years left. And imagine if they roll in the leftover loan into a thirty-year mortgage. So let's say they restretch it out over a thirty-year term. Right. A, you know what I mean? And they can even get it. They can include the solar to the project, and the mortgage be less than you know what they can. Yeah, they, yeah, that's right. Uh, that's right. Get that payment down to maybe two fifty within their mortgage or whatever. I so, can't. I can't determine a reason why you wouldn't go solar. I just so, can't. And then go. And this is another example. If you want to pocket the twenty five thousand, this is what that looked like. The first year you'll save a hundred bucks a month, and then by year two, worst case scenario, you pay an extra fifteen bucks a month, but then that's it. Um, you never go negative. Um, yeah. Basically. So same yep. thing. Okay. But I'm locking it in for 25 years, Steve. It's a no brainer. And where I get the home increase of value, this actually comes from the uh, U.S. Department of Energy. They actually had a bunch, I think it was like 15,000 homes that foreclosed um, during a certain amount of period. And so the banks had it and then the banks put solar on the home and then hired a team of, uh, you know, national appraisers to see what these homes would actually sell for. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they pretty much pointed out that it's going to add about uh, $3 a watt um, to the value of the system. And so you have a 21.6 kilowatt system times $3 a watt. You're increasing your home by 64,000. Now your finance price was 85, tax credit 25. So your net cost was 60,000 and your increased value was 64,000. So if you went yeah. sold today and then sold your house tomorrow, there's potentially $4,000 in profit uh, day one without you. Even right, right. Yep. Um, and I have a link to that source as well. And it's, um, I work with realtors. A lot of realtors, they have to sell homes with solar. It's just going to be a part of it. Um, if you're a realtor right now and you don't know how to deal with solar, you're missing out, right? You're, yeah. You know, that's just, you have to keep up with the times. So if you're a realtor and you want to learn how to do appraisers, 
Um, this is a great tool. You can, it's a free tool um, given to us by the U.S. Department of Energy to make sure that we don't undervalue the cost of the system um, and price it appropriately. And pretty much all the homes sold for more than what this calculator said. So this calculator is very conservative. So if you're selling a home, you just got to put in a few information and you can, and it'll tell you the same thing pretty much I, I have listed above. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want a smart home, um, we can also add some smart homes. We got some partnerships with Vivian and different things like that. But at the end of the day, this is who I'm partnered with um, nationwide. This is our freedom promise. We do a 25 year money back performance guarantee. Everybody's going to have pretty much a pass through warranty from the manufacturer. If you were to, Todd, if you were to go to whatever, one of these manufacturers and buy panels, it will come with a 25 year manufacturer warranty, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can, you can, whatever, if it's broken or whatever, you can get a new panel. But on, so for us, not only will you get a new panel, but we'll compensate you for the lack of energy that that panel didn't produce during that mm, time. So great. we want to make sure that you're saving no matter what. We warn and repair the system. We fix and pay for any damage to your property. And we monitor uh, web enabled at no additional cost to you. So you're not paying additional, a monthly or any kind of subscription. You're just paying for the solar. Uh, we got 4.9 stars on Google where, like I said, all these different states, um, money back guarantee. Uh, we have the highest certifications in solar. We're, you know, we're the second largest in the nation. I'm sure we're going to be number one. Uh, Freedom wants to be one out of every two installs. So they want actually 50% yeah. uh, market share of the entire United States. And Love it. Uh, based on what they're doing, I don't see that's an issue. And these are all the states that we're in. Um, and then I guess uh, we can add Puerto Rico uh, now to it down here somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so just leave this up. Leave that. Let me see that again. The states just leave that up for just a little bit people watching you and I can kind of finish our chat, but that'll give them an opportunity to say, hey, are they installing in my state? If they are, uh, what's the harm, good people, in going to mrsolarsteve.com forward slash Todd, and then you're going to get the white gloves treatment from him and be able to get your assessment to make a decision for yourself. I just really encourage it. It's like, it's information. We're, Steve agreed to do this for my channel because I'm all about decentralized living. And um, to me, this is such a, an, an important strategic decision to make. And the timing is just right. I mean, just right, Steve. Yeah. And it takes a lot of time to put these, you know, these templates together. Um, and so they're getting, you know, I, I don't even know. I think Tesla might, some companies even charge you for this assessment plan. And I'm doing, I believe, a higher level of, of detail. Um, yeah, you are. You you are. I, I have recommended you to a half dozen people and all of them are, uh, have said nothing but great things about you. And I believe most of them are moving forward with you. So, yes. Yes. Um, so good. It's just like when, <laughs> When you stumble upon some, uh, across something that's good and, and you've done your due diligence, you just kind of want to share it with those you care about. And that's why you will always have my show and platform as an opportunity to come on. Um, I would welcome you to come back, yeah. um, give us some success stories, et cetera, because I really think it's important what you're doing. And more than anything, Jim, Gail, thank you for introducing me to uh, this gentleman. Yeah, why don't you stop screen sharing at this point? Yes. And uh, let's, let me screen share. I'm just going to go to, sorry, let me, you know, my mouse is, so let's go to Mr. Solar, no, Mr. Solar Steve, right? Right? No dot. There you go. Dot com forward slash Todd. And this is what that's kind of interesting looking. I don't know why that's. Yeah, we just put this together. There we go. The okay. There we go. And so it's as easy as this go to decentralize. I mean, I'm sorry, Mr. Solar Steve.com forward slash Todd. And then, uh, you can watch this. This is a four minute video and put in your name, email um, in the subject. Just put in Todd sent me. Right. And you'll know. Um, 
And um, go ahead and put your phone number in the messages as well, and I can text them. I'm going to add uh, the phone number to the form. But in the meantime, uh, write any messages you want there. Put your phone number. I'll text you right away or email you. Send me the bill, and then we'll get you a, a Okay, so this doesn't have the ability to be able to upload their bill. You'll do that as a follow-up? Yes, yes. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll stop that. So, Steve, thank you. Thank you very much. I really, really appreciate the time. Um, you spent well over an hour with us. So appreciate that. And uh, I know that I'm going to be sending this to uh, the folks in my community, just because lots of people have been asking. And now uh, we're making it easy for them to be able to reach out to you and get a free assessment from you. But uh, thanks, man. Uh, you're, you're, do you're doing the Lord's work, as they say, you know. Hey. Thank helping so us keep more of what we earn and that's what it's all about sports fans definitely and i'm excited to do this again there's stuff coming out with the inflation reduction act they're giving away money for new acs and different things so i'm wow. sure here we're gonna have some fun and show people not just you know not just solar but food forest water catchment i'm excited i love what you're doing on this channel uh, and bringing all these different thank experts you. in and um, just keep doing what you're doing tata I love thank you, doing you. Thank you. Yeah, my food forest guys are here today. They're uh, installing my water catchment system. So I'm going to be harvesting the water instead of paying the city water for their chlorine water that gets on my new plants back there. I fired all of the people poisoning my lawn and, uh, and, and I'm having worm casting done to where it's, it's basically applying life to your system, not death. And so I'm all about that. And the water catchment is going to allow me to be able to harvest the rain that God gives to be able to water my food forest and the rest of my lawn. They're, they're engineering it in a really cool way. I can't wait to go back there. And, Such a great and, showcase. You got all three elements in place. Once people see that, they're just going to, they're, they're, they're going to want it. Like it's just, that's it's just right. Cool. So. And the other thing is for those of you who want to keep more of what you earn, the, the biggest thing when people go to decentralizeddirectory.com and they book an hour with me, um, I will tell you the tax saving strategy that I offer anybody who's gone through and has 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 uh, invested the hour with me and I've explained everything and I get them set up with this entity. Uh, they're like, where has this been all my life? Why didn't I know about it 10 years ago? And the reason is really, really simple. It's those who have this entity set up, they kind of don't want to talk about it because it's a lawful way to be able to keep more of what you earn. It's kind of a miracle, frankly, in this day and age. So uh, I invite you to come to decentralizeddirectory.com kick the tires, look around. And if you want to connect with me, please do through there. And of course, please also go to decentralized.tv and sign up there. Oh, oh, when you go to decentralizeddirectory.com, sign up for my monthly newsletter. And when you do, you'll get a link to be able to download the decentralized directory of uh, crypto gloss, my crypto glossary. I invested a lot of time being able to put all of these terms together. So those of you who are going to put your toe into crypto, but it seems so daunting, there are so many words that we don't know. I made it easy for you. You now have a glossary terms. It's free. Just sign up for the monthly newsletter and take advantage of that. Decentralizeddirectory.com, just like this web or this uh, YouTube channel, Decentralized Directory. Indeed, smash that like button below. Subscribe and share this, share this with some people who you think might benefit from solar energy savings. Okay. Steve, good job. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you, man. Have a great weekend. Well, it's Wednesday. Have a great rest of the week. Yes, you as well. And we'll, we'll see each other soon. We'll be talking offline. So you got it. I'm excited for, for everything, brother. And we'll okay. be blessed every day, everybody. Have Thanks, everyone.